Superman of science And he loves to play with fire And the things you do You can do If you so desire Do try this at home With Mr. T Hello and welcome back to Do Try This at Home Do Try This at Home is the show that takes ordinary household items and turns them into something extraordinary. What are we going to be doing today? Well, we're going to be playing around with chromatography. It's really cool and it's really easy to do, but it yields really spectacular results. Now, chromatography is a way to take a mixture that is made up of various different materials and separate the materials into the mixture into their individual components. Now, we're going to need some things to do today's experiment. We're going to need a glass of water, and if you have an eyedropper, that'll help too. Some paper plates, wax-coated paper plates like you see here. We're going to need some flat coffee filters. And you're going to want a pair of scissors to cut those into this shape right here. We're going to need some colored markers. Now, try different ones. I'll tell you right now that permanent markers don't work well. These are not permanent markers here. And some food coloring for a little bit later on in the experiment. We're not gonna use this right away, and you don't need to do, have this to do the experiment, but you will need some colored markers. Now, chromatography. Basically, what I told you is it separates a mixture into its individual components. Now, this is going to be called the stationary phase right here. Our solvent, our water, is the mobile phase. And our mixture is the ink that you see in front of us in these markers. Now, to see exactly how all this comes together and makes something pretty cool, let's come here a little bit closer and I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, you're gonna to wanna to start by cutting your coffee filter into this shape that you see right here. Next, you're gonna to wanna to take and draw a line. I'm going to use the black marker and I'm going to draw a line right here, or a couple lines so it's kind of dark, right across the filter like we see there. Now, next we're going to take our plate and we're going to set the filter so that the bottom edge is right down here in this area. Now we're gonna take our water that we see here, and we're going to want to place a few drops, not a lot, of this water right at the leading edge here of the paper. And as that water travels up the paper, watch what happens. Now I'm gonna be doing different colors today, but I'll speed up the video footage so that you actually see it happen much quicker because it's a fairly slow process. Now this is not sped up. Now as the water, which is our solvent, travels up through the filter, it begins to separate the different colors that comprise the black ink. So that black ink is a mixture of colors. And you can clearly see that we've got some red appearing near the bottom, and it's turning into sort of a turquoise blue as it travels up through the filter. So we're actually breaking the black ink down into its individual components. Now, each one of these travels at a different speed through the mobile phase, and gets deposited on the stationary phase at different spots. This is why the red stays near the bottom. It's like a heavier molecule in the mixture. And the more mobile molecule is obviously the blue. Now this will start to separate into greens and blues. And you can see the pink or red near the bottom. It's very, very cool. And you add a little more water as needed so that it travels up through our filter. Now, if you let that sit till it reaches the top, it'll actually break it down into all of the individual colors. I believe that the black yielded sort of a pinkish color, red, pink, greens, turquoise, sort of blue, and then a darker navy type blue was sort of the last one to appear or emerge at the end. Started to see some of that dark blue right in this area here. Now what's so spectacular about this is it happens right before your eyes. This is real time, people. This is not sped up. Now I will be speeding up the video for the others a little bit later on here. Then we're gonna mess around with some food coloring and show you something really cool.
So there you have it, chromatography at its best, right here on Do Try This at Home. Okay, here I've got four trays. I've got green, purple, gray, and brown. Now I found that the brighter colors like pink or orange or red don't work nearly as well, so we're gonna stick with some darker colors here. Now, let me get this started, then I will speed up the footage as it nears the end so that you don't have to sit there forever to watch them separate into their individual parts. Here we go. We're gonna start here with some brown. Blue to gray. Green. And purple. Now this is real time, but here in a second I will speed things up for us. Okay, I'm not too sure how well the colors are coming out on the video, but let me just break this down for you. The gray turned into pinks, sort of bluish color, and then bright greens. Now the green barely did anything, but if you look closely, it left blue at the bottom, turning into green, followed by a nice yellow layer at the top. Our brown was pretty spectacular. It kind of turned into an orange, followed by this distinct line of sort of a turquoise blue, followed by a purple, followed by a pink. Now our purple over here was interesting too because it left blue at the bottom, turning into purple, and then into pink. So you can see that all of these different inks break down, and here's our black from a while ago. They all break down into their own separate components that comprise the entire mixture. Now we're going to make our own mixture with food coloring and do something that might seem almost impossible. Okay, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take a couple drops of each food coloring and add it here to my glass of water. Now, we're going to take our handy dropper here and I'm going to stir this up really well so that we get a really ugly color, but it's all mixed together really well as a nice mixture. So now, look at that. This ugly, sort of a, a dark color that's got, ooh, it just looks like some kind of a mud from another planet. But we're going to take this and we're going to place it here at the edge of our dropper and see what happens. Now as our mixture climbs up through the filter and travels, our colors actually that we mixed all together here will begin to separate. Wow! I can see yellow, I can see green, I can see blue. And it looks like red might be down at the bottom trying to get away from the green and yellow. But all of our food colorings in that mixture are separating into their individual colors. Now I can tell you it sure looks like blue likes to travel fast and go the furthest before it gets deposited onto our filter. And there we have the magic of chromatography as seen right here on do try, whoa, get back on the plate, this at home. And today on Do Try This at Home, we are going to be playing around with, oh crap, I forgot what we're doing, I forgot the name of it. Now today on Do Try This at Home, we're going to be playing around with chromo...
Dang it. Chromatography. Say it again. Chromatography. Well, there you have it. The magic of chromography. Chroma chromatography. Ah. Okay, I'll get it right next time. I